we, we've been seeing the sell side talk about potential 100 million subs for this Apple service. Is your point that Netflix just has too much of a head start? Probably. Uh, streaming is a scale business. In other words, whoever has the most subs will generate the most revenue, can bid the most for content. You know, uh, Fast and Furious uh, 13, when that comes out, uh, hopefully it doesn't, but when it, if it does come out, whoever <laughs> has, whoever can pay 80 million or 90 million for it, you know, it's, it's not going to be bought on a per sub basis. That's the basic point I'm trying to get across when you think about content. And so uh, whoever has the most subs has this kind of flywheel opportunity. And what Netflix is showing now is they're well on a path to 200 million subs within the next, uh, within the next, uh, within the next 12 to 18 months and 300 million subs, we think, within three to four years. They can, uh, they can economically outspend anybody else. And just so we have these numbers right, Netflix this year is going to be spending about $14 billion in cash. And half of that's going to be on original content or close to that. Disney is coming out, and Disney's going to spend maybe a billion on original content. It's these, these are very different offerings. <laughs> very different how offerings. Many, how, how many streaming services do you think that the market can support? That's, uh, you know, at scale, like how many large ones? If we're, if we're going through the big mega trend here that we've got to mention is the unbundling of the cable bundle or the, the, the cutting of a big, um, uh, uh, the, the, the cutting of cable. If you have that happening and people are taking that 150, 200, 250 bucks a month that they're spending as part of their package and they start a la carting, a la carting their uh, entertainment uh, needs, probably two or three. It's, any, uh, yeah, it prob it's, it's anybody's guess, but it's probably going to be two or three bu entertainment bundles that you'll sign up for. And our strong guess here is that Netflix is going to be one of those. But the only, only way they'll do it is if they have more and more valuable original content at the right price point. And this is a particularly interesting year and time for Netflix. You've got a slew of new original content coming out, and the, and the big one to watch out for is the impact of Stranger Things Season 3, which comes out July 4th. We think that by itself can be a good reason to own the stock near term. But it speaks to the broader uh, pitch long term. I see a yellow flag, though, in your U.S. survey results. Uh, negative churn trends, um, record high 11.6% of subscribers are, are very or extremely likely to cancel. I mean, given yeah. that y you think this might have to do with some price sensitivity after Netflix's latest price hike, with Disney coming in cheaper, we don't know where Apple's going to come in, but probably cheaper. Does that does that put Netflix in a, in a difficult position? It, it may. Uh, and I guess if there's one thing I'd really watch out for, look, you this is the year of OTT. We're going to have a series of these new launches, uh, AT&T, Time Warner, Apple, Disney. So that, that is risk. I don't want to minimize that. That is greater risk to Netflix. I just think there's a bigger move here towards streaming that may be underappreciated by the market. But then Netflix is conscious. Netflix has a conscious strategy of raising fees every two years. They think they get they get better content that they can afford. They can justify that price increase. They probably can, but that's going to be a, that's going to be an, that's an unknown. And how aggressively they take up pricing. I mean, they've screwed up pricing in the past, but the last two or three years they've gotten pricing right, and the price increases have gone through correctly. If they do it in a measured uh, way, and if they continue to have better content to justify those price increases, it's not a problem. But if they yeah. get uh, they get they put the price increase ahead of the content, that will be a problem for this company. And that's what our right. survey uh, work, as to your point out, shows as a potential risk.